What's up y'all? It's Yaya and I am back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be installing my 5x5 inch closure wig. So let's jump right into the video. What's up ladies? Y'all are back. I'm glad to see y'all here. So I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my ball cap method. I have already sewed the sides of my cap down for the closure. Um, and then I'm going to be using this Wonder Lace Bar Spray. And I'm also going to be using this Got To Be Glue um, Gel. So y'all go ahead and just watch how I do my ball cap method. Alright ladies, so right now we're going to go ahead and start spraying down our cap with our spray. We're going to get it nice and good. Cover the cap really well with the spray. We're going to go ahead and fix the cap out. Go ahead and start um, blow drying that cap down right now. And ladies, make sure that you all are using cold air, not hot air, when you blow dry the cap. Alright ladies, so now we're just going to go ahead and cut our cap with our razor. Um, you can use scissors if you want, um, but I like using the razor it blade. It just cuts it really smooth, and I don't have to worry about it being dull or anything, so the razor is really a good choice. Alright y'all, so right now we're going to take our Got To Be Gel and we're going to put it on the edge of our cap. We are using this gel to help melt our cap. So right now we're just going to go ahead and finish and we're going to continue to put that got to be gel on our cap. Alright ladies, so now I'm going to just be taking my liquid foundation and I'm going to be applying that to my cap to give it that more natural scalp look. So now that we have applied the foundation, we are just going to clean it up around the edges with some alcohol and some Q-tip. So we're just going to take our alcohol, dab a little bit on our Q-tip, and we're just going to go ahead and just clean any excess makeup or anything right off the forehead so it can be nice and clean. Of the video we finally get to put our wig on so we can transform this little eggshell into something nice and cute so let's go ahead and take this up out of this bag and this wig already comes plucked and bleached and i love this nice closure it already has the band in there so it's like really nice and it hugs your head kind of so i really love that in the wig so yeah let's go ahead and um put this on so I'm a little nervous, but um, I'm ready to go ahead and do it. All right, y'all. So right now, I just go ahead. Y'all gonna flip y'all wig. I flip my wig. Y'all fix it. Y'all level it to, you know, make sure it's to your liking. I like the fact that the wig has a strap in the back, so it actually hugs my head. It's really good. Yeah, look at this, ladies. It's not even glued down yet. It's just sitting up here. We haven't added no curls, we haven't added no spray, we haven't added no glue, nothing yet. Ready? Looks like it's getting scalp. Okay, so we are about to get ready to glue this baby down. So yeah, first thing we're doing is we're going to move our wig back a little bit. And if y'all see me looking somewhere, I'm looking in the mirror, so mind your business, don't come for me. So yeah, so right now we're going to go ahead and get ready to layer the first layer of glue on here. So we're going to put the glue on and then we're going to blow dry it with the cold setting. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
Uh, then I'm going to, you know, just spray that, rub it in with your finger. Come a second time with the second coat of the spray. Oh. Then you can take your head wrap or you can take, I have a head scarf. Or you can take the elastic band and you're going to tie the front. And we're just going to let that sit for a few moments and then we're going to come back and hit it with our hot comb and our curl on. So as y'all know, I actually decided to do the baby hair, so I'm just going to get ready and cut this. Alright y'all, so right here I'm just cutting the baby hairs. Um, sometimes baby hairs can be difficult. Sometimes I feel like they're uneven. So for the baby hairs, I will be using the Got To Be Gel. And then I'll be spraying over that with the spray. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. Okay, got to the gel. So I actually apply the gel on my hand. And then I'll just spray a little bit of the spray. And then I'll mix it in. Do I like that? No. First things first, we are going to curl our baby hairs. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start by flat ironing our edges. Um, edges can be tricky, so it's aggravating sometimes. I always feel like one side is better than the other one, but um, yeah, so I start off by flat ironing my edges, you know, try to um, get it nice and curly how I want it, you know, just a few seconds. And then after that, I'm going to start applying the gel and the spray. Okay, so here we are applying the got to be gel and then the spray. Make sure that I did on my hand right there. And then I'm just going to right now just simply applying them on the edges. And this is where you can be creative, ladies. Um, this is how I do my edges, but you can do it dramatic if you want. Um... You can do them fluffy if you want. So this is how it looks after the edges are done, you know, nice and firm, you know, looking good, looking good. So right now we are going to start doing our wand curls. Um, it's up to you which way you want your curls to fall. So that's the way you would hold the wand. It's really hard to explain. I don't know how to explain it. It's like if you use a curling wand, you know. Um, if you didn't, you don't know. But if you know, you know. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start curling our hair now. And. See how the end result looks. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and comb out our curls just a little bit and, you know, spike them up to how you want it to look. But yeah, rub your fingers through them. And this is how it looks after we wand curl it. 
all right y'all so this is the final look of the wig i am in love it is giving scalp i'm in love with this wig like it's really long i am loving it the results came out really good um if y'all like the content that i post don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, don't forget to share this video. And I will see y'all next time. I'm out, babes.